Hello and welcome to Arca at Las Vegas. We just got back from Gen 4 at Michigan. Got the season started off with a bang. But unfortunately that bang was the sound of my car hitting the outside wall. <laughs> uh, so we're hoping this will go a little bit better. Um, since that one did not. Through uh, forces out of my control. We are here in Las Vegas, and it is a very hot one out on track. 127 track temp the last time I checked. Which is hot. So, I'm hoping that'll actually provide a bit of a looser racetrack. And I think it will. And it has seemed to, because last season, uh, this combo was a little bit lackluster. Because sorry, focusing on counter steering and whatnot. Um, because this combo was uh, way too tight, and you couldn't pass anybody, and it was basically a single file line, which was not the best. But I'm thinking the higher temperatures here. Maybe I don't know if they changed the setup or not. But I'm hoping and uh, like to believe should have a little bit of a better one with these conditions. Second lap looking much better. I considered kind of easing around the first time around and only uh, pushing once I got to the second lap to preserve the tires because it is. I don't think you can get up to speed. Uh, from the pits to the start finish line, but instead I, I kind of just decided to go with it just in case I messed up my f my only lap I feel like uh, that should be decent enough getting that sub 31 I think is a pretty good way of getting a solid starting position Even in a strong strength of field, which is what we have here 4.1 SOF as the number three we are dropping some more however That shouldn't be too bad. I would like to see what my tires are saying. Because I'm curious to see if we are going to have to be careful with that right front. Or, well, I mean, obviously you don't want to kill it, no matter what. But Or uh, if it's going to be on the right rear quite a bit. Because in practice, it was getting on the right rear pretty well. And I don't think that's enough information, unfortunately. But I did want to just take a look at it. We've got a bunch of names in here. That we're familiar with, including Jacob hitting the turn on YouTube. He said good luck. Good luck to him as well. And uh, hopefully we can get started here soon. Just a couple more people finishing their laps. Oh, wait, we got someone out here. Dang it. So we're going to have to wait the full minute, probably. They lose connection or... I don't know. Kind of concerning, because we are the number three, which, you know, sets the expectations higher than I would like, but, oh well. We'll just try to get ourselves, I don't know, a top ten or something. That'd be fine. Man, we've dropped the P10, haven't we? So, I, I could have done much better with that lap, I guess. 129 track temp, so gone up a little bit more even. Very, very interesting. But some names uh, we recognize. I realize I didn't <laughs> mention all the names I recognize. I got JP, Jordan, Kina as well, I believe, is part of uh, Nick slash Gavin's community. That's the end of the session. So, hopefully we'll have ourselves a good race. As it is time to grid. P10. Alright, gonna have to be careful. We're gonna be right in the thick of it. I would prefer not to get wrecked out in two races in a row. But sometimes, just what you're gonna do. 
if you haven't seen that video, I was driving, as one does, and uh, someone from about a car length back on entry to turn three just blasted into my left rear. Because he felt like it, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Obviously, it must have been a mistake. They did apologize for it. Um, kind of. They're like, sorry to whoever that was as they drove on on their merry way it seemed like it seemed kind of like a half genuine apology just like oh yeah i don't even know who that was but yeah yeah sorry whatever anyway i'm gonna go race some more you can go sit in the pits with your broken car i'm probably just salty but <laughs> that wasn't very fun uh it's unfortunate because it was going all right we're about halfway through the race i was uh gonna have about a top 10 finish i think if things kept going the way they were but instead, got about 28th out of 30. Hooray! Let's try to get ourselves a top 10 in this one instead. Moving on. 20 seconds to go. Oh, hold on a second. I think I, I recognize Dakota's name as well. Wasn't he in Nick's inaugural uh, race? Where was that? No, that was Gavin's, wasn't it? Gavin's... Yeah, the Diet Dr. Pepper series. He was in that Daytona race, wasn't he? Maybe I'm thinking of someone else. I guess you do this long enough, you start recognizing just about everybody, <laughs> to be fair. Follow car number zero nine in the outside column. So, I'm going to try not to kill my right front too much, but also I don't think I uh, want to break momentum too much. I might go kind of fast. That's what we do, right? We go fast in our race cars. Uh, I think uh, I'm just going to go for it a little bit. Only 35 laps. And if we are getting enough rotation because of the uh, hot conditions of the track, maybe the tire wear will remain even for the most part just by kind of going for it that's the theory you know fast forward to whenever my right front's dead on lamp 30 and i'm crying about it but <laughs> hopefully not Alright, getting some blinking underway. Alright. Let's see, it's a blinking on the inside row. I wish the 9 would catch up. Wish the 9 would catch up. Why are we two, three car links back? Go! For the love of God, go! What are we doing, 9? Jesus. So we lose like four spots immediately because nine wants to take a nap on the grid. So that's cool. Jesus Christ. I sure love losing a handful of spots just because the guy's not hitting the gas pedal or closing up. I'm sorry, it's hard not to be grumpy sometimes doing this, I swear. Alright, guy hitting the apron ahead, it's Jordan. Inside. Stay high. The car ahead is just a 
Morelli, what's so... Great for tires, but that's what we're going to do. Still not even where we started. That's how important those spots are, losing at the start. Gotta fight to get all those spots back that we get. Just losing for no reason. I'm definitely killing the tires, I think, but... Oh well. That was my quote-unquote game plan. Kill the tires. <laughs> back where we started. Only lost us seven laps to get back where we started. is getting tight, so unfortunately not getting as much rotation as I might have hoped. Still looking like it's going to be tough to pass here. Like it was last season. <laughs> Very similar cars up ahead, both the blue and orange. Good color combo, though. Complementary colors. Make that pass. We're up top. We're crawling forward. These tight conditions could, could cause wrecks as guys on the bottom line maybe struggle to uh, hold it down. So we got to watch out for that. Could cause some uh, wall hits as well. Just got to be prepared for those types of things. Disappointed the car is not looser though. I really thought it was going to be uh, looser handling because of the track temps compared to last season. And it is, but still not enough that... Yeah, I, I just really wish it was like really hard to hold on to, you know. Hey, I should do some Gen 4 races to get that... Oh... Right, I did. <laughs> Alright, I know, I know. I said I'm moving on, sorry. E9's not bad, though. In a strong field. Don't feel like I'm falling off yet, but it's still quite, quite early. Six, I think, got the wall. I think that was a real wall hit. I don't think that was prediction code. Just a slight tap. I could be wrong too, that might have been fake. Looking pretty single file though, very reminiscent of last season. some room behind. That's probably them just saving tires and they're going to come past us later though. 
six, getting his nose on JP. They're really struggling to hold it down there. You can see him getting tire rubber laid onto the track. That can't be good for long-term car health. Uh-oh, speaking of car health, that was almost bad for everyone's health behind. Yikes, they got into each other. Is he looking three wide? It looked like he thought about it. Interesting things happening. I don't know why I have all-time optimal up. should really have all-time uh, session last lap, not all-time last lap. That makes no sense. They are two by two up ahead, and they are not giving much room. Car doesn't feel that bad. It actually just feels like it's getting looser again. She's giving me. She's giving me hope. Same guy as last right? Ooh, big checkup. Quite. Didn't want to get into the back of JP there for sure. find a way to get a run. They've kind of single filed out again. JP going to the inside. He's found a way. Oh my goodness. He is up the track though. 13 was kind of doing that to other people, to be fair. I noticed that earlier. I think it was him. Going a little wide on entry on the bottom side. Okay, we got more grip than he does, I think. He's gonna get a run on the high side, though. Nothing going on on the low side. Looks like they're just getting too much of a run out of the corner. I think you might want to try to do your passes up high. Clear. It can go under the apron. I went too high there. That was an accident. One really sticking his nose where it doesn't belong. F was almost very bad. Uh, 13 really clogging us up. Just so stuck on the bottom right now, there's no way to get any speed down here. You're on the bottom, three wide. Still there, still 
They are going through. I'm gonna get wrecked again. I swear. Jesus, it's like I'm on a short track and I'm stuck in the outside, but I'm stuck in the bottom. This sucks. You serious? Another person on my outside already? It's gonna go to the back, I guess. Slam on the brakes. This guy's freaking. You know, so on my outside still. My tires don't even feel bad. I just can't get to the outside. The whole field just passed me on the outside. Great, now having to hold it down there for 20 freaking laps, now my tires are killed. This sucks. Oh, great. Low car okay. At least we got around that. Car's dead. I remember this combo being good. Oh, wow, that guy just ran whoever over. Freaking god. Assume he had no control over that. The tire must have been broken, but. Yikes. I remember this combo being so good, like a couple seasons ago, it was like really loose and you had to like kind of balance the car on the seam. It's just uh, Now it's just tight the whole way through the corner. Very unfortunate. No idea why the 20 is just pulling up high. Well, this has gone pretty awfully. I guess we're still P11. Not the worst thing in the world, but... Really pinching me a little bit here. I guess is it probably not pinching, I guess would be the right term for it if he's gonna be on the low side. Come on, 
Walter. Push, push, push. We can catch this car. Still there, Abraham. old car. Abraham. Bump up time was 33.3. .3. Still there, hold your line. Good consistency. Keep them coming. He's finding out you can't pass on the low side anymore. That's why this kind of sucks. Like, you just can't pass because the setup's too tight. Exact problem there was last season. Are so dead. Two more, let's go. Stay high to the car on the low side. This is on me for thinking that uh, there would be a setup that has any turn at all. I'll turn in on you if you're not going to give me my lane. Clear. Car inside. Keep high. All right. Well, we're just going to freaking finish last, I guess. Clear. V14. White flag. One more to go. You've just done it. Thirty-three point five. This is honestly worse than getting wrecked out because this one's my fault. Just had a lot more, probably 10 to 10 more right front than I had there at the end. A lot better tips. Great routine, little guy. We're done. That was a lot of fun. There's the flag. It's over. Bring it back to the pit. Where are we going? Well, I falsely thought. Good news is I missed a wreck. Bad news is I fell far enough behind. Just couldn't quite get there. My fault for thinking. The car would be loose in these 130 degree track temps. Jesus Christ. Like, what is that? What setup is this that... Obviously, I overdrove it because I thought I was going to be loose. But how is, why is that even possible? That setup's terrible. Whatever. We'll see the incidents. Like, what is this, too? This whole race was so frustrating. What is the 9 doing? Why is he... Th that's more than three car lengths. And then he's... Where is he going? He's, like, diving down in front of one. This was, like, an aggravating race, man. <sighs> Starting in fourth gear, I guess. I have no idea. Ooh, that looked kind of prediction code. I don't think he actually tapped him, did he? Yeah, I mean, that was pretty close. Still, it was held. What is this new... I know, I'm complaining a lot, I'm sorry. But there's this new, like, user, driver, team... Like, <laughs> why did they complicate that?
Yeah. <laughs> All on me for thinking they would have a setup that actually rotated. 2660. Lift hard on entry. Yeah, I wasn't, that's for sure. Yeah, just gotta lift hard, I guess, on entry, and then wait till you're uh, kind of pointed toward the exit. But you know, I thought that uh, we could drive in a little harder, maybe get on the seam, because I swear to you, that's what it was a couple seasons ago. the uh, The play was to enter, you know, with some speed, and then you know, straddle the seam there, and that's what I was doing, and I was winning races here. And uh, that's not how you do it anymore. And I remember that setup was super loose. And it's that's just not the case anymore. So I, I tried to run it like that. And uh, that's not, not how to do it anymore. So I know now. Anyway, I got had that first accident. This is just going to be a blink. Lap 14. You know, the thir that's what I was talking about. The 13's not turning into the corner. And so, of course, the 8's going to turn down on him because he's trying to take his line like the other guy should be. So got some blinking. Oh, I think the blinking might have contributed to that. He probably, you know, he probably didn't know exactly where he was. That's unfortunate. More blinking. Lots of people blinking this race. Even up front here. The 9 got all the way up there after not hitting the gas at the start? Good lord. He didn't end up there, that's for sure. Something happened to him. Is this nine even like trying? Is he just here to make people mad? Like, why is he like fishtailing it like that? And then they're all running into each other. I mean, that's on the five. They kind of just ran into him, but the nine's being a big jerk anyway. Two kind of no lifts it. I had to lift. And that lost me some. Compared to the guys that uh, went a thousand miles an hour. Like the 15. Yeah, we kind of ended up with them though. We didn't. We just lost to the guys ahead. We didn't really lose too many spots. In fact, we gained from the guys that crashed. Finds out here broken and off pace, and someone catches him on exit. Then I barely dodged him, if I remember. Yeah. Like, what is he doing? Going all the way down the track like that. Keep it up there. This guy was not my favorite this race. Loses us like three, four spots on the start because he doesn't want to go, and then he's just being a complete hazard. Like, there's no reason you should be darting across the entire track. I gave him the benefit of the doubt thinking he had a broken tire or something there, but he does, he does not. He just pulls it off the wall with no regard for other people that are coming. Oh, 
Got the 19 just going to run into the back. The 8. Nine's just not taking this seriously, clearly. Six gets on the wall behind the leader. I think the two has damage. He was involved in that wreck. Not seeing anything here. Right, moving along, these are just some wall hits and probably some tires getting worn too. Yeah, a whole lot of nothing going on. I think those are just tires being really worn. Here's white flag lap, though. Not much more to see. In fact, nothing to see on that, either. Yeah, and I think the race is over now, so... Yeah, that was that was a stinker. I did terrible. Uh, I completely misjudged how that race was going to go. I thought it was going to be more in the right rear, and I couldn't have been further from the truth. Absolutely destroyed the right front. Uh, it's just like last season. Just way too tight. And uh, we paid the price. Thankfully, uh, able to keep it 0x at least. But a, little, a bit of a frustrating one. Sorry for complaining so much. That's just what I'm good at, I guess. Clearly, I'm not good at racing. <laughs> but uh, maybe we'll have some better luck next time. Hope to see you there. Have a good one.